In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a really awesome dolly zoom effect in Final Cut Pro. I have the drone clip that I want to use for this effect. To be able to execute the dolly zoom effect correctly, you wanna make sure that you film your scene correctly. So basically for this one, I flew forward. You can fly backward or film backward, whatever, but just make sure you're either going forward or backward in your shot to achieve the effect. So now what we wanna do is we want to select the clip in the timeline. After we select the clip in the timeline, we're gonna go over to our crop tool, which is located near the transform and distort tool. Once we click on crop, you wanna go over to Ken Burns. This is a really cool effect that'll allow you to bring a still picture to life. But in this example, we're obviously using it for our dolly zoom effect. Now, since I'm flying forward, we want the start point to actually be inside. We don't want it to be outside like this. As you can see, I'm hitting these two arrows up here to flip that orientation of where it starts. So I want the start in and the end out since we're flying forward. So what's going to happen is, is as the drone is flying forward, Final Cut is going to be pulling back. So it's going to crop it in a little bit and then pull it back, which will give the dolly zoom effect. So now once I hit done, we can preview our clip. And as you can see, we have the dolly zoom effect on this awesome clip of Oak Creek Canyon in Sedona with those red rocks. Let's watch it again. And it just it just creates a really cool look for your video. So I hope this helped you guys. If it did, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I release new tutorials. And also please make sure to give this video a thumbs up because that is what ranks it higher in the algorithm. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.